Hallo. We're doing some slow motion cleaning shots here. Oh, nice. Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Nürburgring here at Apex. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you also enjoyed the footage that you've seen over the weekend of the first days of TF. But to be honest, right now, actually, it is... It is Thursday the 10th of March, so it is happening actually a week ago. The reason why I want to show you today to this video, aside from all the preparations that we're taking for this week's weekend's TF, ooh, the kickoff of the season, is actually that Adrian and I are will be going to the track. I'm going to show him around to try to get the best angles possible to all the track spots where he can take videos that you hopefully have seen over the last weekend and you can see how we were preparing for that etc okay enough talking let's hop in the car and go to the first spot probably Vipaman. you got our baby yep you need to hold it on the knees because we've got on the back another baby another baby <laughs> <laughs> Great shot, Misha. But... Oh look, there's a ramp. <laughs> <laughs> We have arrived at Brunchen car park, which is by now empty, but I'm sure in a few days time, or for you last weekend, it was completely full. So, the thing is, with our media license, for the first month, the Nürburgring said like, uh, okay, you can film, you can film trackside, but get some more experience, see you, let us see what you are doing, that you're doing everything okay and by the book. So, Adrian will not be allowed to go beyond the FIA fences. So half of that would get like uh, access like the race tracker photographers have. So the first month were kind of limited, but there's still also, I want to show to you that there's still a lot of angles that you can use to show the beauty of the Nürburgring Nordschleife. So we're going to go probably to Wippermann because that section over there is occupied by auto addiction by a friend Nick and Wouter anyway. Uh, so we don't want to provide you the same angle. So let's go that direction and see what kinds of shots and angles we can get towards Wippermann and probably not going to go towards Carousel. Anyway, Pancake, let's start walking. Let's go. So I think this spot is actually quite workable. You're still allowed to be here behind the fence. So as long as no one is standing here, I'm sure you can get a nice shot towards there. Just see if it works for you. Yeah, that's right. Because now I can see the elevation changes yeah. the, when I'm that low. There is an alternative, because uh, either Marshall might be standing here or a photographer. Mm -hmm. There's an alternative there, like a photo hole. And then I can also uh, point the that direction. Yeah. And it's actually also quite beautiful from here. Because you can, the cars go over the curbstone over there. And then, yeah, you have like a very nice straight, straight shot. I think with this lens you should be able to capture it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I think this one here is going to work also nicely because yeah. they are going, the cars are coming downhill. I'm going close to the, to the curbs in there. That's the advantage when we are doing like cinematic stuff that we can get just like special angles for just like a few seconds of footage to then include it in the video. Yeah, I'm just comparing it to the auto addiction type of video because we want to provide different type of content. They need to have like a very long going angle. That's why they use this corner, which is like the YouTube corner because you see the car for the longest amount of time. And in our case, it's a bit different scenario. You can also film dogs at the end of the day. <laughs> Now this section, I'm afraid that this one you can only get nicely when you're actually standing at the barriers. So you can see the car coming over the crest. Just see what, what can happen. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm stuck already. Okay, so here we have very nice overview. The issue is that we don't have appropriate photo hole. Your best case scenario is going to be that this gate is going to be open maybe. Uh -huh. Now you can film through the gate. 
like car coming down from there towards here over the crest did you find any mice pancake yeah it is, it's quite long and you can turn it to the 2.8 so I barely see the, the oh, okay. fence, so it's, it's not a big issue okay alternatively there's a hole there so you can have a look how that will work there are even two holes how convenient no I'm not gonna make any dirty jokes Fence. Disappears. It's magic. Even bigger magic than the CPL filter. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need photo holes. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need vests. No. Yeah. So you know what you should already start thinking about? Mm -hmm. To get like a signature apparel. Because I know for example Claire from Notch Life Epix has a pink hat. So oh. hopefully your shots are going to be this popular among the drivers so they need to recognize you so whenever you're standing for example here and they see like maybe red hat or something or else Mexican hat <laughs> Mexican hat <laughs> no you're Polish <laughs> you need to do something else they'll be like oh my god I need to go for another lap because I want to have a slow-mo footage of me going over Vipaman yeah wishful thinking yeah so you have this angle here I think that's where also my VLN shot was taken from okay because you basically have both the curbs from this angle. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, there's a second hole, yeah. Yeah, this is the one, the spot. Okay. Now we're on top of Hoa Acht, and that could be very nice with the highest, second highest point of the track. Car coming over the crest, maybe some Gran Turismo vibes. I approved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Other side of Hoa Acht, barriers, hmm. some advertisement, random. We decided to walk all the way to Carousel, or actually most importantly to Steinstrecke, because at this point inside the track, inside the Carousel is not as nice shot. But now I find it very important to show to you the difference between filming with a phone so far and filming with a decent camera, where you can actually see the elevation changes here in Steinstrecke. I think with your lens will be probably even better <laughs> when, we, when we get to the actual like tilting point. I think by now already in the last two minutes of this video we've proven that the earth is flat, right? Yeah. Especially the Nerva <laughs> I was thinking that we need to go back to the car <laughs> to through this hill. So. And although the Star Strike uh, hasn't been used since the 60s, we still can find the old Marshall Post here. This would also be a very good spot to take off the drone because uh, we are allowed to fly the drone but you cannot fly it above the track. 100 meters away from the like the main road, not just the street, and not above people. But here, almost no one is anyone anytime here. It's also where we shot the drone footage for Tom Scott's video, and it was absolutely phenomenal, breathtaking. Oh, look at that broken tree! We can do a cinematic shot from there. Saying full on nature photographer or some <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but hey, when you got this gear, you gotta use it. You gotta be creative and that's our vow for this year to increase production quality. And of course, the last couple of days were a bit like struggling with finding the right settings, the right filters or ditching the filters. But I hope you're noticing that we're also taking your comments into account of not using any filters, using the natural colors and still maintaining the right balance of having cinematics, additional cinematics and also having this personal interaction of me just holding the camera and talking straight into it. I think we're getting somewhere. I'm really excited to see where we're going to be in the next couple of weeks already, but definitely months and especially at the end of the year. We have definitely big plans and big wishes, but we have to see if it's going to turn out. But when you have a clear goal in mind and support of you guys, it's going to be an amazing season. Yeah. And I guess that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the cinematic shots and also the shots that were shot on the weekend itself, of course. 
Of course, there are a lot more locations that we could go to, to Vea Zeif, uh, to Mini Carousel, to the Big Carousel, etc. But then it's going to be a very long day, very long walk, very long video. And the year is still going to be fully ahead. So I'm sure you're going to get to see all those footages. Uh, let us know in the comments below what was your most favorite shot and which one you are looking forward to seeing. And uh, if you have any requests of us filming your car, submit them as well. But that, for that, reach out privately, like directly message and not just through the comments. That's pretty much it. We're gonna go get some food shots. Hopefully they're gonna have some schnitzels left at ED and hopefully they're gonna have some chocolate croissants left. Yeah, thanks. See you, Thank you. tomorrow when, yeah, I don't know. There's probably gonna be some content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>